This movie explains the Capacity Plus module, available in Metrics 2010 and onwards. Unlike the movies for the other available modules, this demonstration is all-inclusive. This module is so easy to understand, there's no part that I need to leave out. The way it works is that when I create a project, it of course has products in it. I could open up a simple project like this one. I've got one product that needs to be created somehow on this sheet. I ask for a layout, and there it is. In this particular project, we would say that there's one product that went through the auto layout or potentially through the auto production engines. There's only one product on this sheet. The number that appear on the sheet after the results of auto layout or auto production are irrelevant to this module. In the same way, I could open up this project here. Let's change this to a very large sheet. And again, ask for an auto layout. And like the previous project, only one product was applied to this sheet and went through one of those two engines. So you need to completely ignore the number of items on the sheet. It has nothing to do with the module. It's all about how many products, there's only one, product A, are applied to this layout to go through one of those two engines. To be a little more explicit with it, here's another project. We can see very easily there's only four products that need to go through the engine. So regardless of the complexity of the layout itself, there's still only four products in the list. Capacity Plus raises the limit from 16 per layout up to 160. That's the first part of Capacity Plus. Let me show you how this would work. I'm going to close this. I'm going to make a new project. And I'm going to import. I'll show you the spreadsheet over here. This spreadsheet. It's a whole bunch of different people's business cards. They're all the same size, ink coverage, a couple different quantities, but there's 20 of them in the list. If I go back to metrics and import that list of products, they come in and it's not a problem. We can see now we could use auto plan or whatever mechanism. If you had metrics base without the capacity plus module, you could import the products like this, but the moment you try going through one of the engines, it's going to complain and say that you can't because you're exceeding the number of 16, which would be the limit of metrics base. So that's one side of the module, opening up your capacity to go beyond 16 products per layout. The other side of this is actually even simpler, and that is the ability to put more than 100 products in a project. So as an example, I'll just call this tickets, and I'm going to import 140 tickets. And there they are. If you had metrics base, it has a limit of 100 products, you simply wouldn't be able to build a list like this or import a list like this. So for customers who do simple commercial printing, they're really not probably going to reach a limit of 100 different products in a project. If we do any kind of combo runs or gang runs, we absolutely will exceed that limit quite quickly. I think it's the first part of Capacity Plus, the ability to have more than 16 different products go through the engines. That's really where I think most people get, um, they hit the limitation at some point and realize Capacity Plus is quite important. If all we do is simple sheets with a couple different items on them, Capacity Plus wouldn't be important. Most people tend to need it. So that's the entire scope of Capacity Plus. There's really nothing more to say about it. Very simple, very straightforward, and a very important addition to Metrics Base.